Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander for the SNES with me, Blue Ankylo. Uh, first off, I kind of messed up. I forgot to, to save after the last one, so I had to redo the first mission off camera. As it turns out, actually, uh, I got the same kills as, as Spirit again. Or I got three and she got two, just like last time, so no harm done. The only difference was she... Uh, she decided to show me the ropes by shooting the living crap out of me. Um, I mentioned Friendly Fire was on on the last episode, and oh boy, she nearly shot me to death. So, uh, uh kind of too bad I wasn't recording it, because uh, I was considering getting some revenge on her, but uh, we'll, we'll stay out of that for now. So let, let's talk to everybody and let's get rolling. Uh, here you flew with spirit yesterday, Blue. She's quite a little thing, but she's a heck of a flyer. She's rock steady, follows orders, don't fire till she's sure of her shot, even if it's me. I was always glad to have Spirit on my wing when I was still flying. You're lucky to be alive, man. Lucky. Uh, whew, it was awfully close last time. Konichi, okay, so she's uh, Japanese, I guess. Blue it's very multicultural uh, crew on the ship. Please take a seat. If I may say so, you are doing quite well for surviving my attack. Colonel Sama, Colonel Sama is most pleased with your performance thus far. There was no need to praise me before him though, honorable second lieutenant. The credit for mission success is due to his leader, not his assistants. I see by your expression that you do not believe me. Mm. I assure you I speak what is in my heart. I think she wants to get rid of me and be the new wing commander herself. Hunter. Okay, this guy, he's the Aussie, I believe. You're blue, right? They call me Hunter, mate. G'day. Spirit Air was telling me about your tumble with them hairballs. Sounds like you really mix it up out there. That's the way, isn't it, mate? Just you and some hairball twisting about, trying to get a missile lock. Formations, uniforms, medals, wingsmen. That's all sheep dip. <laughs> All a Bruce can count on out there is himself and his missiles, and I got three. Two of them just fire straight, so I got one good missile. Not a lot. Uh, let's see, anything new up here? I think I got an extra little, uh, oh, I can't remember what those are called, but uh, an extra little bar. Uh, people kind of move around where they sleep, you know, right by the drip drop, you know. Very, very comfy. Let's go. Still an annual system, oh, 0700 hours, 40 minutes into the briefing. A pills and ring is blue in spirit. You'll be escorting a Draymond class transport to its jump point. Computer, display a pills. I probably said that wrong. <laughs> Let's take a look at your flight plan. You'll rendezvous with the transport upon launch. Escort it to nav 1, and on to nav 2, where it will initiate jump sequence. Once it's jumped out, you'll return by the most direct route. Remember, your job is to make sure that transport jumps out. I don't want you leaving her to chase down bogeys. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. If the enemy retreats, you stay with the transport. Questions? Yes, sir. Why is Nav 1 so far out of the way? Oh, this is just an asteroid field in the between. No big deal. A fighter might navigate it, but a Draymond sport would never make it through. Anything else? Alright then, let's get to work. Squadron dismissed. Yeah. Look at that drum roll. It's always such a, a rush to get to the ship after the mission briefing. Fall asleep for an hour, listen to this guy drone on, and then BAM! It's the blood rolling. Killer bees are off again. All right, and we're off. And look, there's our ship, the Draymond class. We'll be transporting those back and forth across the galaxy. Uh, now, to do the autopilot thing, you've got to be fairly close to them without crashing into them. And uh, we'll begin our escort. So, look at the map here. Uh, now, it doesn't show you that asteroid field right in front of us. We're actually probably really close to it. Uh, sometimes the, the map here is a little buggy. But, uh, 
know, we'll go ahead and have one like they said to, to avoid it. And we're off. Yeah, so if you're close enough to the Draymond, uh, it'll follow you on the autopilot. If you're too far away, you just sort of ditch it. You have to go back and find it. So, not the best plan, I guess. So, uh, here we go. And uh, let's, let's break an attack. Now, I, uh, I don't promise to stay near the transport. Uh, I just want to get this fight going. a hard time engaging on camera today. I've gotten some lucky shots off from, from the distance, but uh, yeah, we'll get out of the way. Well, I guess I'm not flying at full speed. That might be my problem. Oh, thanks. Holy smoke, look at all these missiles he's got. Okay, let's, uh, taunt. Let's, uh, give up. Oh, thanks for nothing. Flies right into me. Maybe I flew into her, I don't know. I was looking at the calm. Come on, guys. Well, maybe... Maybe we'll get her to stop. She already killed one anyway. Come on, Salty. These are their, uh, lightish ships. Uh, low damage. Well, I guess they do pretty good damage anyway, but low armor anyway, and pretty maneuverable. They like to zip around and not engage me. Come on, buddy. Uh, I got a present for you. Lovely present. Here, kitty. That worked last time with the, the 11 mission. Yeah, they... Uh, uh, uh. Turn, turn. Ah, ramming speed. Well, you know, never takes a no. Oh, my lasers are not recharging. Oh, okay, that was my bad. Missed. Should have missed. Yeah, alright, alright, we're doing good. So now I'm gonna go back to my transport that I left. Uh, you know, I, I, I distracted the enemy from him. You know, I, I didn't really protect him by staying close. But, uh, you know, I, I, he's alive. Can't complain. <laughs> the, uh, the manual that comes with the game I had when I was a kid uh, talks all about how you're supposed to escort these guys, you know, the speed you're supposed to go at, how far away you are. It's all very nice and in-depth. and doesn't really help you out much in game, I guess. Alright, let's do this. Back to Dralfi. <laughs> yeah, I love it when that works. Yeah, these, these guys are a little bit slower. Probably the easiest thing to shoot and kill, I think. I have the least trouble with these guys. There's some more ships you'll fight later on. They can they can give you some trouble. Why am I shooting? It's like 10,000 meters away. Oh yeah. I've got to remember to put my speed up to 420 again. These, these little raptors are pretty quick. What's going on here? Almost got him. Yeah. Alright. Now this guy, I'm not going to let him get away if I can. No escape from the killer bees. No escape. Look at them afterburners. You can run out of fuel. Uh, then you don't. You can still fly, but you just can't use your afterburners anymore. You can kind of tap the afterburners and you don't use them up as fast. You know. Nothing crazy. Oh yeah, that's that's friendly fire. Thanks, Spirit. Back here. Yeah. Oh, I 
actually hit him. I sent two missiles, the first one actually hit him. I don't uh, usually rely on them dumb fire missiles very much. Yep. They do pretty good damage, but they save them for uh, capital ships and stuff. Very useful for them because they just hold still for you. Now, I'm flying back to my Draymond again. I got a long way off from this guy this time. I think he's at Nav too, yeah. So we've, we've transported him and he just, they weren't quite close enough, but he, he just jumped off, or went off to jump, whatever they call that. Hyperspace. <laughs> um, now, they're looking at all of asteroids. We're actually going to take a detour. I know the colonel, or whatever he's called, the general, he, he said to go straight back, but, uh, oh, hopefully that doesn't mess it up. Uh, I got a frame skip speed boost I use when I'm playing on my own for uh, autopilot and stuff. I won't use it for the last play, I just misclick there, mispress. Uh, well, I think I think this might be the end of our Raptor flying days, actually. Uh, we've had two mission successes, so... We might be moving up in the world after that. Clear to land. did pretty good that time, only took a couple shots, probably got hit, well, I guess we rammed one, Spirit shot us a couple times, but other than that, you know, no big deal. Mission debriefing, 0700. Good job out there, Blue. Sport jumped right on schedule, you covered her well. Yeah, I guess I did. Thank you, sir, but Spirit deserves as much credit as I do. Eh, that's debatable. Blue Son is too kind, sir, I only flew on his wing. At any rate, that was some nice flying. Well, let's review the mission report. Blue, you took out four kill Raffi. Spirit got one. Yeah, she helped, okay. The Draymond Sport made its jump on the schedule. And Blue, I want to see you in my office in a couple hours. Except maybe not as dire sounding as that. Sometimes it's dire, but not today. Dismissed. Colonel, he is a Colonel. Colonel Halcyon's office? I think that's it. Blue, come in. I need to speak with you. There's a lot of stuff flying in front of my window. Yes, sir. We'll be leaving Enyo soon, and I need to make some personnel changes. Effective immediately following the jump, you'll be reassigned. I want you in a scimitar class, medium fighter, with Blue Angel Squadron. Yes, sir. You won't be sorry. Good. Glad to hear it. That's all then, Second Lieutenant. Dismissed. So I get a new ship. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm so proud. Hangar deck. 1700 hours. I think pretty fast, I think. 10 minutes. For meritorious conduct in confronting the kill Rathi enemy. Oh yeah, those are the enemy. <laughs> we'll talk about them later. Uh, this guy talks very slowly. In the Enyo system, on or about star date 2654.111. We are proud to present the Bronze Star to 2nd Lieutenant Blue. Your courage is exemplary of the Confederation's finest defenders. Look at that. Good job, Blue. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Filled with pride, you meet the applause of your fellows. And that's how Super Nintendo saves it. So I'm going to be using the emulator's save states this time. Because that, I've had enough fights remember to write those. Down. So, ta-da! State zero save. Anyway, that is all for episode two of Let's Play Wing Commander. Thank you for joining me, and uh, hopefully I'll see you for episode three. Cheers!